Welcome back to AI Roads, your one-stop destination for all things artificial intelligence. Today we're going to talk about one of the most interesting and exciting topics in AI, the emergence of artificial general intelligence, or AGI. Now, we all know that AI has come a long way in recent years, but most experts agree that the real quantum leap in AI will occur with AGI. AGI refers to the hypothetical ability of a machine or computer program to understand or learn any intellectual task that a human being can. But the big question is, when and how will AGI actually happen? Well, there are a couple of schools of thought on this. Some experts believe that if enough different AI applications could be built, each of which solves for a specific problem, those apps would eventually grow together into a form of AGI. But there's a problem with this approach. These so-called narrow AI applications don't store information in a generalized form, which means that they can't be used by other narrow AI applications to expand their breadth. So while stitching together applications for language processing and image processing might be possible, those apps cannot be integrated in the same way that a child's mind integrates hearing and vision. Other AI researchers contend that if a big enough machine learning ML, system with enough computer power could be built, it would spontaneously exhibit AGI. But this approach also has its limitations. It would mean having a training set that encompasses all the situations our hypothetical ML system might encounter, which is simply impossible to create enough cases and example data to overcome a system's underlying lack of understanding. So what's needed for AGI success? Well, researchers must shift their focus away from ever-expanding datasets to a more biologically plausible structure containing three essential components of consciousness, an internal mental model of surroundings with the entity at its center, a perception of time that allows for a perception of future outcomes based on current actions, and an imagination so that multiple potential actions can be considered and their outcomes evaluated and selected. In other words, to attain true AGI, AI's computational system must more closely resemble the biological processes found in the human brain, while its algorithms must allow it to build abstract things with limitless connections rather than the vast arrays, training sets, and computer power today's AI requires. Such a unified knowledge base could potentially be integrated with mobile sensory pods, which contain modules for sight, hearing, motion, and speech. So when will AGI actually happen? Well, it's likely to be gradual rather than all at once for a couple of reasons. Developing AGI is a complex and difficult task that will require significant advances in several different fields, such as computer science, neuroscience, and psychology. While this means years of research and development involving the contributions of numerous scientists and engineers, the good news is that a great deal of research is currently underway. As individual components of AGI emerge, they will be able to function together to create a more general intelligence. And while AI systems will exhibit more human-like performance in individual areas, the performance will not be equal in all areas simultaneously. This suggests that at some point, we're going to get close to the threshold for AGI, then equal the threshold, then exceed the threshold. At some point thereafter, we're going to have machines that are obviously superior to human intelligence, and people will begin to agree that, yes, maybe AGI does exist. Ultimately, AGI has to happen because the market demands it. Do you think AGI will ever become a reality, and if so, when do you think it will happen? Tell us in comments. So, stay tuned for more updates on this exciting and fascinating topic. Thanks for tuning into AI Roads, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more such exciting content.